This video is about certificates of authenticity. Now let's look at the two most well-known ones as far as autograph authentication and that would be PSA DNA or JSA. Now let's look at some of the, the features on these. PSA certificate, okay, it has matching serial numbers with the item. This particular item is a Jim Carrey signed photo. Okay, and this one is a JSA and it's got as well matching serial numbers so it goes with the exact item this one's an Alice Cooper uh, photo and it goes with the exact item so you can match it up uh, exactly now let's look at two of the most common homemade certificates that you usually receive when somebody does bother to print them up and these are just homemade printed up on, on computers and this one's just a flimsy piece of paper Okay. Here's an item that I recently bought, a, a Tim Curry signed photo. Now, I, I don't have much question about the authenticity, and I didn't buy it based on a certificate. You know, you got to buy based on the research you put into an item and, and not what a certificate says. Because even these guys, PSA and JSA, they don't get it right all the time either. But that's a whole other topic. So this one... It, it just says Tim Curry signed 8x10 and this could go with any 8x10 there's nothing on the front or the back uh, that indicates it's it goes with this exact certificate I mean so right there it, it, it doesn't correspond with with the exact item so a certificate like this it, it doesn't and it doesn't tell you anything it just says you know the same standard stuff about and uh, it's guaranteed to be authentic and and so on but it doesn't mean anything so whenever I get something like this I, I, I just throw it away it, it's it's useless absolutely useless another one that you'll you'll commonly see is, is a certificate that where they can hand write um, whatever the item is okay this is another one that, that I saved just to uh, to show here and and it's it's another one of those standard things you know we guarantee the the items authentic it's been personally signed but it's it just can be written in so it, it, you can write in any item and, and once again this didn't correspond with the item so I mean it could really be anything so here's another one that's completely worthless so you don't need homemade certificates like that you know, these are the two most common ones that, that people want to see, PSA and JSA. But in the end, you've got to do your homework. You've got to research whether the, you, you believe the autograph is authentic based on their signing style, based on a lot of different factors. So don't rely on certificates, even if it's PSA or JSA, and especially homemade certificates. They mean nothing. And another reason that they mean nothing, as far as the homemade uh, certificates of authenticity, is, is the name. It uh, doesn't carry any weight whatsoever. Uh, th this other one was Half Moon Vintage Sports. If you go around and show your autographed item to people and, and say, hey, it was certified, and they're going to ask, well, who's it certified by? Hey, it's certified by Half Moon Vintage Sports. No, is anybody going to know that name? Absolutely not. I'm sorry, it, it doesn't carry any weight whatsoever with it. Whether it's, it's a company name, whether it's some individual uh, in-person autographer's name, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, uh, unfortunately, the only two names that really carry uh, uh, the most weight is JSA and PSA. That's about it. So you have to do your own research on these items and you can't rely on certificates.